The Capitol Theater in Miramar, Wellington stood empty and neglected for years until its transformation into the new Roxy Cinema, which opened in 2011. It wasn't easy or cheap, but the results are one of a kind. Producer and film editor Jamie Selkirk, one of the pioneers of the film industry in New Zealand, is part of the team who made this happen. He talks to students about what it takes to keep a theater operational and why he thinks it's worth the effort. So in about uh, 2003, the opportunity came up to buy this whole, the old building it was here, it was an old brick building. It was quite a big cinema actually, it took about 600 people surprisingly for a little suburb like this. But that was all, all the entertainment was in those days of course, everyone used to go to the movies. So, you know, so what I did, I decided, well, there's got to be something here. Where we are in the middle of the film industry, we've got Weta down the road, we had a workshop, we had digital, we've got the studios down there, so Miramar was sort of... So we decided, oh, we've got to do something about this, and make, we've got to have a cinema, after all, in the, in the middle of the, of, this, of the film industry. So uh, we demolished the building that was here, we kept the front piece, the front facade on the street side, and completely demolished the building and rebuilt it. So this is all a whole new building which we built, so we started building in 2009. It took us a year to build it. And pretty well the whole idea of it was to, I always wanted this idea, if I wanted the cinema I wanted to have the biggest screen as I could to it, it's about like, that's a 166 seat cinema in there, and there's another one downstairs, the 50, 50 seater. We want the idea of not just a cinema, but an entertainment place, so you can actually come here and you have dinner, you have a drink, you can take food into the cinema, and we could have, a, we have functions up here all the time. So it's a, sort of more of a general purpose place for, for the, um, cinema for the, for the community. So we are the nice idea, the whole idea, I really like the Art Deco style, which is what you've, we've, we've sort of got here, sort of our version of an Art Deco style with th the 30s feel. And so we all, pretty well the whole interior was designed by our Weta Workshop team, our, our creative team, our Weta Workshop, our filmmaking team. So we designed it all in the computer. We got basically the main structures, concrete, and then we did all the interior design. We did basically we could walk through the computer and see how it all look and set it up from there. So we all this pretty well, I had to research lots of places to get the eye of what it really looked like for a sort of 30 cinema. A lot of the lighting, we came from, I went over to the States, actually went over to uh, Santa Monica, so which we actually put quite a few light fittings back from the States. The light fittings downstairs came from Chicago, and quite a lot of stuff, so we, because in New Zealand we didn't have much of that sort of stuff here. Those big candid, big, big lights here in the hallway there, they, they were made for, in England, made specifically for us. They're called, inter interesting, called Wellington Chandeliers, so we thought it was quite appropriate for Wellington. So really, pretty well, we built it all to suit what we wanted here for the film as a sort of a creative place. And so it was called the Capitol, and we called it the Roxy, because the Roxy used to be a cinema in the centre of the city, which was demolished many years ago, and we thought, I rather like the idea of the Roxy as a name rather than the Capitol. It's a bit, Capitol was a bit sort of boring. So page of what we've got here, we've got an event place, which we run a lot of events. We have, we've had weddings here, we had a variety of things, so it's become more of a centre for, this, for the community. And obviously it affected us quite badly when, uh, obviously every worldwide when we had in 2019, when all that terrible COVID hit. And that really just suffered. A lot of cinemas basically quite often just about closed down. We had to close down a lot here which made it very difficult and lots of cinemas, a lot of movies of course and Hollywood movies and weren't being distributed at that time because no one was wanting to go to the movies and your, your cinemas were all closed too, weren't you, I think. So it made it pretty difficult for us to run, so it's been always been a very marginal sort of uh, industry to be involved in, in cinema and the theatrical distribution side of things because it's really got to have the movie, the good movies for people to come to the cinema because everyone got so used to going to, sitting at home watching streaming, streaming movies and a lot of the movies on stream. And it became very difficult for cinema owners to, uh, to, to survive. So it's made, we've been very lucky to sort of survive because we've had the opportunity of doing events and other things where a lot of other cinemas are just cinemas only where we can actually do a bit more than that. I noticed you have a restaurant. Does that help you balance the books? It does a little bit. We still only run, you only just make it through really because the, the, the thing that the trouble with the cinemas is that uh, it's for a start like say in a situation like Avatar or those sort of big movies to screen it the, the distributor gets 55 percent of the box office so every person that comes in here and buys a ticket for, for ten dollars or whatever the distributor gets uh, more than 50 percent of that so it's pretty hard for um, for, a cinema, for cinemas to actually really make a lot of money. You really have to have the, the, the snack bar or the, a bar or a restaurant or something like that attached to make it work. We used to open seven days a week, now we only open five. 
because um, there's just not enough people coming to the cinema. You've got to, got to get them off, their off out of their lounges and back out to watch movies because uh, that's, that's the hardest thing. And uh, I still reckon that um, all you people, you need to go to the movies because there really is, um, to keep the industry going, you really have to go to the cinemas uh, rather than sit and watch them on your computer or on your TV at home. Because they, you can't beat watching a movie on a big screen. And we have some interesting events here too. We do, um, I don't know whether you've, any of you have ever seen a movie called The Room. It's um, the worst movie ever made. But, but we, have, we run on here once a month and everyone, we get just about get a full house. And because I don't know whether you know much about The Room, but it's a, it's a pretty weird movie. And, and when people come here, there's apparently there's some, they throw spoons at the screen. So there's certain, everyone knows the lines of people, they go, keep on coming back was the point, you get to know the dialogue and every time the dialogue, they yell up the dialogue in the cinema and they throw spoons. And the, the idea of the spoons is a particular spoon on, the, on a wall somewhere and, and various like, scenes within things. This has become a sort of a thing that people say, spoon, and they spiff their spoons at the screen. And we have, well, you have thousands of, sc of spoons to pick up after every screening. And they all know the lines, they say the lines pretty well exactly the same time as the actors. So it becomes like a real event. And uh, we pretty well have it. Uh, but we're the only cinema in the country that run it, but it's a fun thing to do. And we run a lot of, uh, obviously, a lot of classic movies here as well. Uh, so we always get a pretty full house for classic, classic screenings. Some of those old movies you would have seen there, we get people, for, well, I've only ever seen, let's see, a lot of the, young, the younger audience have only seen some of those movies on TV. And so bringing them out and putting it on the big screen again is really good. That's, so you need to go to the movies. Make sure you all go to the movies. <laughs> Sounds like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yes, today. yes, it is. Yeah, well, that's right. That's well, right. We have had screening of Rocky Horror Picture Show. We have that as well. But we've run a lot of stuff like that, which is already sort of um, interesting movies that people want to go and see. Yeah. So the more the more ideas we get, the better. I mean, we've got a really good team here. They all come up with ideas to do things. We do um, lots of events. As we put on lots of stuff like this sort of things of the things to come and look at. This was these that all come from a. Um, we had a workshop today, a TV series called Thunderbirds Ago. And those, these are all stuff that they use for that. Um, so it's pretty good. Pretty, pretty cool models. They're all made in the workshop. We run the whole series of um, The Hobbits and Lord of the Rings like, overnight. Like they, people come and they sleep in the cinema. They all come dressed up as the hobbits and bits and pieces. <laughs> and then we have food between every meal, we have hobbity food. And they, so they sort of go and watch, they watch the three the three Hobbit movies, and then the three Lord of the Rings movies. So it's the whole like 24 hours of, of running. We have them quite often. We get a lot of people come. They get full. They get booked out pretty quickly. And so they're so patient to stay here, sleep here, sleep here. And they bring their sleeping bags and they sleep up there and watch all the movies. And so it's pretty cool. They have a lot of fun doing that. Now I was going to show you. Now I don't know you're aware, but I actually also won an Oscar for Return of the King as a for editing Return of the King. I brought my Oscar along. You like to have a look? 